Bleep. Awesome. Hooray. All right, so uh, so we might as well go around. Uh, like, okay, this is Bad Fan Fiction Night. We're going to be starting off with our friend uh, 111 Samus Ridley Forever 2006 Chan. Got to have that pause, the Chan. Um... One of the the uh, we're starting with the the fan fiction that we first found with this and uh, fucking hate you. Tasha. I think we're gonna I think we're gonna start with the sleepover of surprises, which is oh god. Uh, now uh, this is not the one he fucking wrote, fucking read in my goddamn video. Okay. <laughs> You may not know this, people watching this damn video. Okay, but so I've yeah, I've had to sit through this before. There's a, there's a little. You've had to sit through this many, many times before. Uh, but uh, first and foremost, we found this back when Nether was re still recording videos. Oh, so many moons ago. But uh, probably like four years ago. Here's the, here's the disclaimer for this fan fiction written by the author: her, him, it, them, they, what self. Okay, everyone, I have decided that I am back to stay. This was published in, uh, what was it, uh, March of uh, 2008. She, she, he, it, they never came back, by the way. This was a chapter from Metroid High School, but I decided, hey, why not make it an, uh, make it an entire chapter story? This solves problems like where's Ridley and what happens later that people ask. So here's the answer. I decided to post chapter one ad nauseum, except for a few minors. I'm reading this phonetically, mind you. But All there will, will be try to pronounce. But there will be other parts that will be brand and new. Until next time, read and enjoy, and don't forget to review, but no flames. And if you have suggestions that are good, review because ideas are good. Okay, thank one. You can. All right, you can, now thoughts again to your voice. You can. You can see what we're working with here. <laughs> thoughts again to your voice. Okay. You know which voice. Yes, I I know which voice. Sleepover of surprises, part one. Oh. One day, Samus Ann Ridley and her friends Ted, Mandy, Robbie, 111 Samus Ridley Forever 2006, Helen, and Tio Juan were at a sleepover. Samus's parents were off on a business trip and worked at home so they could do whatever. What should we do now? Samus quizzed her friends. I know, declared Ted. Let's play Truth or Dare. No quotes around Truth or Dare. True that, Samus and Co. said. I don't know how to play, confessed Tio Juan. Tio Juan! Everyone groaned. Then they laughed really loud. Ha ha ha! Except 111 Samus Ridley Forever 2006, who was too cool to laugh. It's really easy, said Helen, who had been Tio Juan's neighbor and best friend since kindergarten. By the way, the quotes have not ended yet. I'll tell you when. Helen and Tio Juan secretly like each other, but were always too afraid to tell each other their true felonies. End quote. Actually, no, begin quote again. All you have to do is take turns and ask truth or dare, and then the person will choose one, and you have to choose a question for them that they have to answer no matter what, and if they choose dare, then you choose a dare that they have to do, and it's really funny, explained Helen. A-OK, -okay, declared Tio Juan. Everyone sheared. I don't know what they sheared, but they sheared something. Something got sheared. They found the sheep to shear. How about Samus goes first? Risley proposed slyly? Oh, brother, Samus groaned. Looks like I'm out of damn luck. Samus consististed. Truth or dare, Ridley smiled like a bear. Even though Ridley's a dragon. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how that works. Dragon bear smile. Truth. 
Riddle me this, riddled Ridley. Have you ever stolen it something? I have never stolen it anything, just in case you are wondering. All eyes turned to Samus as she fiddled with her fingers. Well, there was this one time, go on, Ridley, Menacially stated, Well, I was at Keaton's general store, and there was this Green Day CD I wanted, and I didn't have enough money, so, well, Samus was embarrassed. Ha 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 ha! Ridley expressed himself really loud. Mmm. <laughs> Sam 111 Samus Ridley Forever 2006 side and aside ruling her eyes. You and your petty crimes, especially for such a sellout band. Wow, you're so angsty. Notice Ted. Ugh, g -g -g. 111 Samus Ridley Forever 2006 moaned and went back to filing her nails with a nail filler. Everyone laughed really loud. Ha ha ha! Except 111 Samus Ridley Forever 2006, who the joke was directed at. Okay, 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 okay. I think it's Ted's turn. What the well, okay, cuevo? Ted coolly replied with a snap. I don't how know how that was cool, but okay. Everyone rolled their eyes and giggled except 111 Samus Ridley Forever 2006 who was too busy listening to My Chemical Romance on her iPod Nano. Green Wait Day, Green Day apparently a big sellout. My Chemical Romance not so much. We what, in the business called this a fucking hypocrite. What do you choose? Everyone wondered? Question mark. Dare Ted de snapped. That's the snapping, in case you were wondering. Well then, Mr. Snappy, let's see you snap at this one. Was Samu's clever remark? Everyone laughed except for 111 Samus Ridley Forever 2006, who couldn't hear because her iPod was too loud. <laughs> Listen to my chemical romance. Listen to my chemical romance, who is not a sellout band. Oh no. Oh, wait. Here we go. Wait, hold on a second. Let's see. We're, go we're going to spin the bottle, and you have to kiss wherever the bottle lands on. Oh, no, Ted lamented. But what if it's T.O. Juan? Ted is probably gay. <laughs> well, you have to do it anyway, because that's the rules of the game. Samus affirmed. I have a bottle. Mandy made known to the people. All of the people. Everybody, the bottle <laughs> spun. <laughs> the bottle spun around and a runod and a runado until it finally landed on one 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 Samus Ridley Forever two thousand six. Looks like I have to kiss one 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 Samus Ridley Forever two thousand six. Ted announced. Ugh. Very well. One 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 Samus Ridley Forever two thousand six angstily agreed to. But this is only for this stupid game. You never have or never will have a chance with me. Because you know 111 Samus Ridley Forever 2006 is too cool to hang out with Ted. <laughs> yeah, okay, Ted mentioned. And he sneakily stalked over to 111 Samus Ridley Forever 2006 and got real close. Let's just get this over with. Then Ted leaned down and gave her a kiss and everyone giggles. And he tried to put her hand, his hands in her hair, but she did not let him, and she slapped him, and it hurt because she was really strong and cool <laughs> and did not laugh at stupid jokes and listen to my chemical romance. Which is not a sellout. Which is not a sellout band. I am making that known to everybody. In your dreams, blubber brain, 111 Samus Ridley Forever 2006 pwned, that's a verb, it should be, never mind. Hey, my brain is not made, M-A-I-D, out of rubber, Ted pointed out. I'm not so sure about that, Robbie snapped back. <laughs> Snap. Hey, everyone laughed except 111 Samus Ridley Forever 2006, who didn't think the joke was very funny. 
This bitch don't laugh a lot. Okay, okay, okay. It's Tio Huang's turn. Everyone agreed. <laughs> Correct, Tio Huang. Uh, I choose truth. Okay, we get to ask one question. Samus reminded Tio Huan. What is your deepest, darkest secret? Tio Huan looked nervous. I like someone in this room. That statement brought a lot of commotion because everyone wanted to know who Tio Huan liked, except for 111 Samus Ridley Forever 2006, who was completely uninterested. Is it Samus? Is it Mandy? Is it 111 Samus Ridley Forever 2006? <laughs> Actually, Tio Huan wrapped his arm around Helen, who was sitting next to him, and closed in and gave her a very big kiss. Everyone cheered and clapped their hands, except for 111 Samus Ridley Forever 2006, who was downstairs pouring herself a glass of lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch just done and left her own fan fiction. <laughs> Helen. Is that bad? Helen, Tio Juan said after they were done kissing, Really? I thought it was Samus. <laughs> I've always loved you since I met you, but I was too afraid to tell you. Tio Juan, I love you too, Helen confirmed. And the two lovebirds kissed again until everybody told them to stop, except for 111 Samus Ridley Forever 2006, who wasn't back, wasn't back from getting her soda yet. So Wait, it was I, lemonade I, like five seconds ago. Soda? I thought it was lemonade. Apparently she drank that. And she, she, bitch <laughs> drinks as much as Kaga. <laughs> so wait, was that the end? Yes. A okay. Tio Juan shouted, let's finish the game. Wait, postscript. As you may have seen, I thought it'd be cool if I was a character in the story. So I wrote me in. <laughs> Except I didn't use my name. I used my internet name. Just in case of internet weirdos who might find out the information. Better safe than not if you understand my words. No. <laughs> no we're I'll have my poor in days. So hold the phone and you'll be off the hook. And review. Snibbity nigga. And that was... <laughs> that was Sleepover of Surprises, a Metroid fan fiction. By... By 111, <laughs> Samus Ridley Forever, 2006, Tan. Um. Target, that can wait.